you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? The ages of a group of athletes are as follows. So we are giving all these numbers and we are to answer this set of questions following those ages that were given. So we are to find the range of the distribution, draw a frequency distribution table for the data, find the median age and calculate correct to two decimal places, the mean age and the standard deviation. So in the first part, A, the range of the distribution, how do we calculate the range? The range is the highest value that we're given, okay? Highest value minus the smallest value, okay? That is the range whenever we are looking for it in a question. And looking at this particular question that we have, we need to look at the data entry that we are given, the ages of the athletes. We can see that 20 is the highest age that we have here. And what is the least age? The least age happens to be 15. Okay, so in that case, the range will be 20 minus 15. And 20 minus 15 is nothing but 5. Okay, so 5 is the range of the distribution that we are given. Moving on from there, to draw a frequency distribution table for the data, now I have the template of what my table will look like as shown on the board. And the values that we have in each of the columns, I'm going to be representing them here. In the first case, we are going to have the age of the student, okay? Age is what we are going to have in the first case. So here we have the age and then the tally just to help us correctly capture the number of entries that we have then the frequency f okay then here i'm going to have the cumulative frequency that's the addition of each entry of the frequency and i'm going to show that and then we are going to see the product of the entry and the frequency so age is the x so the product of the age and the frequency is fx then because we are going to be answering question on standard deviation i can also find f s square that's the frequency multiplied by the square of the data so now we need to fill in our table and the way we are going to go about doing that is to put in this entry in increasing order okay so the least will be in the first entry and then we'll go on to the highest why am I doing that? Because look at the question C. We are still going to find the median age for the distribution. So let's start with the least number. Looking at all these entries, what is the least number that we have? That is 15. So here in the age, we put 15. Then the tally is the guide that will help us to capture the frequency correctly. So how many 15s do we have here? It's only one. So that means the tally is one. And definitely the frequency will also be one. Okay. The cumulative frequency will be the addition of subsequent frequencies that we are going to have. This is the first one. So, CF is still 1. FX will be the frequency multiplied by the data, which is age in this particular case. That's 15. So, 15 times 1, here it is 15. Okay. And then, FS square is the frequency multiplied by the square of X. The square of X is 15 raised to the power 2. That is 225. Then 225 times frequency 1, that's still 225. Now, this is what we need to do in all these cases. And then we can move on to the next data. We have 16. 16. So, how many instances of 16? We have 1. So, I put my tally 1. Another 1. This is another 16. That makes 2. Okay. That means that the frequency is what? 2. Then the cumulative frequency will be 2 plus 1. You know, we have 1 initially 
and then we have two in this case that is two plus one and that is three then fx the product of the frequency and the data the frequency in this case is two and the data is 16 2016 that is 32 all right and then the product of the frequency and the square of the data that we are talking about in this case we are going to say 16 raised to power 2 so yeah i'm going to say 16 raised to power 2 that is equal to what 256 one i multiply by the frequency times 2 that's 512 so yeah i'm going to have 5 1 2 okay so let me also try and do the next entry and in this case we are going to be looking at what's the next number 17 all right so for 17 how many entries of 17 do we have this 17 here that's the first one i have one another 17 here that makes them two another 17 here that makes them three so what's my frequency three the, cum the, the cumulative frequency will now be this particular 3 for the frequency of 17 plus the initial cumulative frequency that we have, this other 3. So 3 plus 3, that's 6. Then the frequency multiplied by x, that is 3 multiplied by 17. 3 multiplied by 17 will give us 51. And then we need to find the frequency multiplied by the square of x. So to do that, we say x in this case is 17 so 17 raised to the power 2 times the frequency which is 3 and that is equal to 867 so here we have 867 okay so having this guideline i'm not spinning up this video but since you now understand how to populate the frequency distribution table you can just do that on your own now to find the median age we need to look at our frequency distribution table if we are not asked to construct the frequency distribution table we could have said we want to arrange all of this in the ascending order the least will occur first and then in that case we have something like 15 then 16 in two places and co 17 and we are then going to look at the midpoint of the data entry but here since we are first asked to draw the frequency distribution data we are going to use that to also obtain the median age and how do we go about using that to obtain the median age we have gotten the cumulative frequency to be 11 or we can just add up all the frequencies like here we can say 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 plus 3 that is 6 6 plus 3 that is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so sigma f which is the sum of the frequency we got to be 11 now to find the median we need to look at the midpoint of the sum of the frequency so to find median we consider the middle the midpoint of 11 width we can find by saying 11 over 2 and that will be the 5.5th position just mind me don't, don't mind me I just using that I don't know if there's anything like that occurring but the 5.5th position now looking at the cumulative frequency that will help us to do that because here we see that the cumulative frequency is 1 so definitely it's not this then next we can see that the cumulative frequency is 3 definitely 5.5th position is not occurring there but now if you look at this particular 6 here where the frequency cumulative frequency is 6 we can see that the 5.5th position is falling in that particular case and what is the value of the age of the heartless that is falling there that is 17 so so as a reason of that we can say the median which is occurring at the 5.5th position is nothing but median is giving us 17 so this is the correct way to use the frequency distribution table to get the median of the given data all right now in question number d we have two stores that we need to carry out first we have to look at the mean age and then we have to look at the standard deviation to get the mean age 
which is denoted as x bar, what we do is we just find the sum of the product of the frequency multiplied by the data entry over the sum of the frequency. We just evaluated the sum of the frequency to be 11, okay? Then this fx, we also need to sum all the data entry together. So we can say, let's bring in our calculator. We can say 15 plus 32 plus 51 plus 54 plus 19 plus 20 okay and we need to check do we get all of that correct if that is the case we can just say that is equal to what this is going to give us 191 meaning that here the sum of sigma fx is equal to what 191 all right so we know sigma f to be 11 meaning that our median that we are asked to find in the first case is going to be 191 over 11. So what is 191 over 11? You can say our answer divided by 11. That is 17.36. So we have this as 17.36. The bar means that it's continuing like that. Again, 36, 36, 36, but no problem, we don't need that. They say we are to find it correct to two decimal places. Wow, I I I love this. So if it's to be to two decimal places, the calculator had helped us already. So that third bar is 17.36 to two decimal places. Alright. Now to find the standard deviation. I will just erase the answer to the mean age. And there is a formula that we are going to employ. Looking at fx raised to power 2, that is the product of the square of the data multiplied by the frequency. We can see that we have all of this, but we need to also find the sum. Sigma, sigma f s square and that's going to give us what let's sum all the entries 225 plus so this is 3,337. Okay, now, what is the formula for the standard deviation? The standard deviation is giving us the square root of sigma fs raised to power 2 over sigma f minus sigma fx over sigma f or raised to power 2. Now, if you notice, this is nothing but the mean, okay? It's the mean that we just got as 17.36. Now, if you want to put in all these values, we can just do it straight and say this is sigma fs squared, that is 3337 over sigma f, that is 11, minus... Now, the danger is that you want to use the approximated value that you got for the mean initially. Whenever you are working like this, don't first put in the approximate value. Put in the entries again. So, what is sigma fx? That is 191 over what sigma f? 11 all square. Okay? So, let's just do this piecewise. So, we can just try and evaluate our previous answer divided by 11. That is 3.03.3. 0, 3.36 so we have square root of 303.36 minus what do we have in this particular case 191 divided by 11 all raised to power 2 okay 
that is 301.4958 you can see 301.496 okay so minus 301.4 Nine six, so we have to subtract that. Let's say three zero three point three six. I told you initially this is a repeated value, okay? It's a repeated value minus the answer we just got. So we have one point eight six seven seven. So the standard deviation, the standard deviation, as we are asked from this question, is equal to what square root of 1.8678 square root of 1.8678 and we have to look at that in the calculator the square root of our answer as 1.366666 and approximately that will be 1.37 to 2 decimal places okay so this is our answer if you are not careful about the approximation in your calculation you will not get this exact figure so whenever you are using your calculator just be careful that you use the right approximation only approximate your answer when you get your final answer okay don't approximate during the course of calculation and with that you can get your full mark so we have solved all this question using the frequency distribution table to find the median, the mean, and the standard deviation. All right. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence and that's our desire that you go out and be the best and as you do all this we know that all will work out together for good until next time god bless you